The trailer for The Last of Us Episode 3 has recently been released and it looks like an interesting episode for sure. With it looking like we're going to see the world from a different perspective and through Bill's eyes for a brief moment, it seems as though the style could change for a brief moment in the next episode, as we may not necessarily see Joel and Ellie navigating the open world, but instead we may continue their story when they arrive and meet with Bill. Plus, it also seems as though we're going to see Frank get introduced to us too, and maybe have more of an origin story to Bill and Frank. The show isn't afraid to cross different time frames, so we may see that happen quite a bit in the next installment. So with that, I thought I'd break down and explain the upcoming trailer for the next episode. So let's get into it. Here is The Last of Us Episode 3 trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The trailer for next week's episode, Episode 3, opened up with the character Bill looking at his surveillance cameras and as he looked up to what could be a monitor higher up towards the ceiling, he uttered the words, Not today, you New World Order jackboots. This could be referring to him seeing Joel and Ellie appearing on the screen, or it could be the first time that he saw Frank. Bill is known to be quite a paranoid individual and likes to keep himself to himself due to not needing to worry about anything or anybody else other than himself. So a change to his world is something that would be a big thing and will most likely happen when Frank arrives. So it feels as though we could see quite a lot of next week's episode from the perspective of Bill. I'd be open to that because we'd be able to get a real insight into another part of the world and what it's like for somebody to live there rather than just have Joel and Ellie who will most likely be passing by in that brief moment. After this, the next thing that we saw was the buzzer going off while Bill was working in his workshop. It looks as though this could be from the following scene where we saw that Bill went outside and approached the person that was within the hole in the ground. This was when we saw that the character Frank was introduced in the show and will be included in the next episode. Within the game, Frank and Bill were partners, so if this is the first introduction that we're getting to the meeting, this could be some kind of flashback that we're watching unfold, and we could see the beginning of how they met, formed a relationship, and ultimately departed from each other. If it isn't doing that, then it seems as though the show could potentially be going in a different route. If that is the case, then it seems as though we could potentially just see them meet each other and build a relationship of some kind as the episode develops. However, I don't know whether that's the case or not. We saw the reluctance that Bill held in letting Frank pass through and enter the town that he spends most of his time protecting. Bill spends a lot of his time strengthening the border of the town and keeping infected individuals out. Hence why when he saw Frank in the clip, he said, Here's the thing, Frank. If I feed you, then every bum that you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. Showing that he didn't want to help a stranger due to the influx that it could potentially cause. Bill was one of the only remaining people in the town following a lot of the residents becoming infected, hence why he's become paranoid and also only trusts himself more than anything else. This was also shown to us in the trailer when we saw that he grew his own vegetables for himself and also when he was sat down at a table on his own eating dinner, because there's nobody else there to do anything, only himself. So it's already showing us that he's very set in his ways and that the paranoid state that he has is present within him leading you to understand why he wouldn't want things to change, and also why Frank could eventually go on to get frustrated. Shortly after this clip, the next shot that we had was of Ellie looking in a drawer and finding a weapon alongside a note that was handwritten. This is when I feel we'll be with Bill in the present day. Within The Last of Us game, a note from Frank is an item that gets stumbled across, so it could well be that. However, due to the timings of this episode, it might not be that far along to the point where Frank grew to dislike Bill and his ways but it could well be the case. The dialogue that followed over the top of this clip was spoken by Joel, showing that he'd also made it to Bill along with Ellie. Joel stated, sooner or later, they'll be raiders. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. As this line was being spoken, we saw a scene which contained Joel and Bill talking by what I would imagine is the exit of the town due to the fence. So Joel may be moving on for a brief period of time, or carrying out a favor for Bill. As Ellie isn't there, I feel she could be staying put at Bill's while Joel is doing what he's doing. After this, we then had a shot of what I would imagine is two people that look as though they're going to try and break in and get through the fence. However, it looked as though one of Bill's traps caught them off guard and will cause them a lot of damage. But even after holding them off, it seems as though there was some more of them and maybe some infected individuals that could have broken the barrier. This is due to the chaos that looks as though is set to erupt. There was a shot of Bill standing in the middle of the road, looking as though he was holding off some people with his weapon. 
but it also seemed as though Frank was running towards him from behind. I feel as though Bill is going to be injured in this instance, as there was a shot of him laying on the ground with Frank looking over him where he uttered, Call Joel. This could be to get assistance from him to help with the fight, or it could be to warn him of the danger that could be coming his way. However, with Frank being there, it does make me think it could be a flashback. There was then a haunting and harrowing shot that showed the harsh reality of the world that they all lived in, with Joel and Ellie in the background. It seemed as though there were the remains of a mother and a young baby, as all that was left was their bones and the clothes that they were wearing. The next shot that we had after this was of what looked like Bill in his truck driving through the gates where it looked as though there was either a trailer filled with items attached to the back or a boat of some kind. We then also saw an infected individual who looked as though they were in the stalker stage of being infected. They were trapped underneath some rocks and Ellie was holding her knife in front of them. It does make me wonder if Ellie is going to use it. The final thing that we heard in the entirety of the trailer was Bill saying, we'll be fine, in the conversation that he was having with Joel by the border of the town. So I feel it's definitely not going to be okay. Bill is known to owe Joel many favors in the present day, so I feel this episode, whilst delving into the backstory of Bill and Frank, we could also get some answers as to why Bill owes Joel. We know that there was a pre-existing relationship and arrangement between Joel, Tess, and Bill when it came to smuggling items into the quarantine zone but I'm hoping we could see some further flashbacks taking place. I think the next episode of the show is going to be an interesting one for sure. It's already been marked as one of the best hours of television that's been seen for a long while and been given the title of one of the best episodes in the entirety of this new series, so I've got high hopes. It seems as though it's going to be looking at the origin of two fan-favorite characters whilst also building upon and developing the plot, narrative, and story in the present day. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, the danger that's going to be at the forefront of it, and what exactly Joel's going to bring to the table in terms of moving the story forward. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, there you have it, The Last of Us Episode 3 trailer explained. If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.